when two teams play each other, they're normally playing against each other for a victory. But in the first meeting between two CUSA schools this weekend, the two teams will be united under something more than just the game. Coaches have a huge impact on their players both on and off the field. Phil Ratliff was no different. The players respect him because they knew that he loved them and he would coach them really hard and they would never, you know, they would never give up on them. They would always give them everything they had. He wanted to see his players succeed. He wanted to win, no doubt, but he wanted to see his players succeed. Not only on the field, he wanted to see them get their high school diplomas, go on to college, get a job, have a family, you know, live the life that he was living. He always encouraged his players to play with high intensity and energy, just as he did when he was an offensive lineman at Marshall. Phil was very competitive. He would not give up, uh, and that's, that's something you knew you could count on. Uh, he was going to have your back no matter what. Uh, he was like that on or off the field, and he played with an intensity and a, a very high level uh, in everything that he did. If he was playing checkers, he wanted to win, and it, it showed on the field. In 2006, after years of coaching at the high school and FCS level, he returned to Marshall as a coach until something else came along. But then an opportunity to really try to do something special with Charlotte came along. Brad Lambert, you know, tried and tried and tried to get him down there, and finally he was able to lure him down there. And I think it was the, it was the challenge of building a program from really just the beginning. Welcome to the family officially, bud. Ratliff, the offensive line coach and recruiting coordinator, was an integral part of building the football program from the ground up until this year, the program's first year at the FBS level. But Ratliff unexpectedly passed away in August following a heart attack just weeks before the first game of the season affecting everyone on the 49ers team. When we lost Coach Ratliff, it wasn't just losing you know, the offensive line coach and the guys that were close to him at that position, but it was every single position because defensive backs and receivers and quarterbacks, they'd all been recruited by him. He you know, really was the heart and soul of this team. I felt like you know, he really was the guy that uh, I think tied the whole team together. And not only did his death affect the Charlotte community, but the Marshall community as well. If you can go through life and uh, and have the reputation and the, uh, the experience that he did with the community. Uh, he was loved and he'll forever be missed, but his imprint is on this community and there's no doubt about that. Though it has been hard for both those in Charlotte and in Huntington, members of both communities want to keep his memory and legacy alive. For the Rattler family! Yes, <laughs> His team will move on, we'll move on, and we're all better people because he was part of our life. You know, he made a difference. Everywhere he went, he made a difference. He thought this team was um, going to be built on alignment, uh, being the rock of this team and really uh, being the foundation for that. So just trying to teach these young men that the, the biggest legacy that we can keep going for Coach Ratliff is to just be rock solid. The guys really begin to see how, especially the O-line, how Coach Ratliff was embedded in their hearts. And there's some things that they do naturally because he coached them so hard. And there's some things that they'll continue to do out of respect for Coach Ratliff and how, they coach, how he coached them. And with both his teams squaring off against each other this weekend, both communities will continue to support each other through the loss of a man who touched so many people's lives. And I think both teams, you know, will be involved in his, uh, his presence and his spirit being on both sidelines. It's really kind of, not many guys can do that. Charlotte's not playing Marshall. I'm rooting for Charlotte and, and everything they do. I want to see them succeed and grow and I, because Phil had a part in that. And uh, that's special to me and special to many in this community. Now, Ron, it's great to see coaches not only have impacts on their players, but also just people in the community as a whole. And I, I know that Phil Ratliff definitely impacted so many people, both in Huntington and in Charlotte. I, I think you're absolutely true on that. You know, when you're a football coach, especially in a smaller town, let's say like Huntington, you do have an opportunity to go out in the community and meet people. And people, they just glom onto you. And that's huge. And Phil obviously was one of those type of guys in his personality everybody loved. He's missed by both teams. He was outstanding in the community and he was also a very good football coach. And it's a big loss, I think, for everybody. Our condolences to his family.